once you have your CAD model loaded, sometimes you need to rotate the model or reposition it to make it easier to set up your base alignment. And it also helps prevent issues that might come up with the blocked edges feature, which I'll explain later. So to rotate the model, you go to CAD, Modification, CAD Model Transformation. And in this window, you have the option of translating, which is shifting, or rotating the model around an axis. In this case, we want to rotate the model so that this flange face right here is facing you, the operator, and these side faces are to the X minus and the X positive direction. So in order to do that, first we're going to rotate around the Z axis. We're going to rotate the model counterclockwise, 90 degrees. Counterclockwise is a positive direction. You enter the number and click Apply. Next, we're going to rotate around the X axis. It's pointing towards us, and we want to rotate the model clockwise so that this flange is facing this way. So we'll rotate around X minus 90, which would be clockwise. So it's going to go this way. Click Apply. And now our trihedron is showing correct. The Z is pointing up, X is pointing to the right, and we're all ready to set this up for a base alignment. Now I mentioned that if you don't do this, sometimes you have issues with blocked edges. And that is found under Plan, Navigation, Block Edges. And by default, these black circles are, are showing which edges are blocked. The Z- is blocked because obviously you don't want your probe to hit the CMM surface. Sometimes if you set up your base alignment without rotating the model first, it will move the block edges to the side and it will not execute the program completely. So to avoid that, it's a good idea to rotate your model initially. However, setting up your base alignment usually overrides that anyways. So it'll move the block edges, and then once you run your program the first time around, it will automatically shift those block edges for you. Now I'll briefly step through what it looks like to set up your base alignment without rotating the model. So I loaded the model again in its original orientation and I'm going to extract the features that I need for my alignment. So this plane will be the Y minus. Spatial rotation will use this plane on the side for the planar rotation and this bore for the X and Z origin. So let's just quickly set that up to show how it moves the model. So spatial rotation on plane 1 towards the Y minus axis. Planar rotation, which is your clocking, on plane 2 towards the X minus. Our X origin is going to be on the cylinder, as well as the Z origin. And then the Y origin is on plane 1. So now we see a preview of what it will be. And then once you click OK, the model gets automatically updated. If you have more complex problems in rotating or translating your model, let me know in the comments below and we'll take a look at it.